black-capped chickadees. We are going to learn about black-capped chickadees today because you can find them all over the place. We're going to draw some black-capped chickadees, so I want you to pay close attention to the shape of their bodies and the colors that you see, where there's black, where there's white, and where there's a light brown color. Black cap chickadees are called black cap chickadees because of that little black cap. They also have white bellies, and right underneath their beak, you can see some black feathers on their neck that look like a bib. You can especially see this on the one that's sitting on the person's hand. They're really tiny, they're only about 5 inches long, and they weigh between 0.3 and 0.5 ounces. Black-capped chickadees can be found in the woods, in a city park, and probably around your neighborhood. They love to investigate. If you put a bird feeder out, they might just be the first to discover it. But they might not stick around and eat the seeds. They like to take the seeds in their claws and carry them to a nearby branch to crack them open. If you watch carefully, you might get to see them do this. Black-capped chickadees aren't picky eaters. They eat all kinds of insects and seeds. One special trick they have is that they can hang upside down while they eat. And this is awesome because then they can get to the food that other birds might not be able to get. So that gives them a little bit of an extra source of food. Chickadees don't fly south for the winter. In order to survive the winter, they collect and store seeds. This is called caching. One of the coolest things about chickadees is how well they remember where they stored their seeds. The part of their brain used for memory actually grows. The growth peaks in October just in time to cache or store their seeds for the winter. They can remember where they stored their seeds for up to eight months. That's plenty of time to get through the winter. How do these tiny birds survive the harsh winter? They can create a scarf over their nostrils with their feathers, preheating the air before it even enters their lungs. They also can fluff up their feathers. One study showed that in zero degree weather, the temperature next to the chickadee's body was 70 degrees. That is a really good survival technique to fluff the feathers to keep themselves warm. In the winter, they live in holes in trees, but if you provide a birdhouse, they might move in. Black-capped chickadees mate for life. They usually have about six eggs per clutch. Sometimes they can hatch and raise two clutches in one season. If you look at the picture, you can see a dime beside those eggs. That shows you how tiny those eggs are. Today we're going to draw a black-capped chickadee. Look at those final pictures. You can refer to them when you color your chickadee. Notice the color of the head, the bibs, the wings, the tummy. Think about what you could add to your drawing once you draw your chickadee. Do you want to draw a friend? Maybe some babies? Maybe you want to make your chickadee eating a seed or a worm? Think about it. And next time you're outside, listen. These are the calls of a chickadee. outside sometime and see if you can hear a chickadee and see if you can spot a chickadee now that you know what one looks like. 